Is it true that your prophet God, Allah, a Muhammad? Prophet God, what? Yes, Muhammad is your God. No, it's not. That's what, what you guys what, believe. Well, isn't it, isn't, it, isn't, it, isn't it the name of your prophet is Muhammad? Yeah. What Muhammad means praised one, correct? Yes. Okay. If Muhammad is a praised one, who is Allah? Uh, what do you mean? Allah is God. No, the praised one is God. The one true God. That's what The praised one is God. If you are a person who believe in monotheism, as you claim Muslims, then the praised one is God. Muhammad in your religion is the praised one. Not Allah. Okay, okay, wait. You're literally like uh, projecting your human worship onto Muslims. It's not going to work. It's kind of cringe. It's you who worship a human. Okay, let's go with this. You just mentioned a human. Uh, you you literally worship a okay. human. Okay, literally, like, literally. Wrong? No problem. Do is your God Allah have a physical part? Yes, wait, 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 wait. Christian prince. Hold you on, worship hold a on. human, correct? My, hold on. My God. Wait, is Jesus just, just, human? just, just, just. Okay. Hey, guys. <laughs> The Muslim, they say Jesus is a human. Let us see what is the human right now. What is the human Jesus right now? Where is the I don't know. You asked me. Uh, Are you telling I thought, me this is your belief? I thought your Quran says he is with Allah. He was risen up to heaven, yes. So why you didn't say to me, I do not know. Say in heaven. Okay. So why only Jesus, the human, quote unquote, in yeah, heaven? Yeah, because he's going to come back. Hold right? on. No, no, no. I don't care. Why only Jesus the human is alive after thousands of years and all the human is dead? What? No, Jesus will come back before the end of humanity and all then right. die on earth. Listen, Jesus will come back. Where did you get this that he will okay. stay alive you forever? You see, I want to go with you. Where in the Quran it says Jesus will come back? Uh, I mean, I would have to find the verse specifically, but this is... No, no, you can find it. Take teaching. your time. Take your time. I'm waiting. Okay, okay, sure. I mean, we can completely derail into that, but like, first answer my question. You do worship no, 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 a human, no, no, correct, no. right? No, according to you, you worship a human, but Jesus, who have the flesh of a human... So you worship a human Listen, listen. Don't act like a kid. Jesus, who have the flesh of a human, <laughs> you're a brother, he said. God, how to hope to prove somebody is divine if he can do what God can do? It's not about the look. So your God, how you look like, you cannot answer. You say, my God, he is a he's human. He's unlike creation. But listen, he's unlike creation. We don't know what he looks like. Jesus is... You say uh, he's like a white man with long hair or something. But this is false. Nowhere in the Bible it says he's a white man, but we can show you where in the Hadith says the belly balm of Muhammad is so white, and that his arm is so white, his testicle is so white, his under cheek is so white, his face is so white. Do you want me to show you? Okay, I mean, this is, this is, you're avoiding so the question, you, though. Do, it is do you, you worship follow, a human or not? It is you who follow a white man who believe wait, the wait, sun. Christian Prince, just answer the question. Stop we, talking. We just have God. We, we, we worship God who came to us. Do you worship Jesus? Do you we worship, worship Jesus? Jesus who is God who can well, who, create. Is he a human? Listen, is listen. He a human? If Jesus is a human. Is he a human? We will go with you. If Jesus is a human, as you say, if he's a human, so you don't he, believe he's he human. is God in the flesh of a human, not At the least opposite. You're changing. He is Those not a human. Listen, we don't believe. <laughs> when you debate the Christians, debate them in their belief. When I debate you, I debate you about your belief. Don't fabricate things. So we Christians believe that God in the flesh of a human, not a human, became God. So now Jesus in the flesh of the human, can he create a human being? Yes or no? Can God create a human being? Yes, but he can't become a human being. That's can ridiculous. Jesus create a human being? Yes or no? Uh, is Jesus a human being? Well, you are you the question. Guys, did I ask him? I said, can Jesus create a human being? Yes or no? Can Je He can heal human beings. No, no, no. This is not a question. This is not a question. Can Jesus create a human being? Yes or no? Uh, no, not by my knowledge. So no, why your stupid not. Quran say yes? Huh? Huh? Why your stupid Quran say yes? He can create human beings. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, where does it say this? All right. <laughs> All right. Here Wait, but you didn't. Like, okay, but like you Hold said, on. if Hold Jesus on. is Hold human, on. Do, you, do you think Jesus, Jesus is human or no? If Jesus is just a human, as you claim, he is God in the flesh of the human then he will not be able to create living being. And this is what the Quran comes from. Read with me, Allah. Can your God create like Jesus? The answer, no. Read with me. Isn't it, this is your Quran saying, 
that Jesus created from the mother bird? Okay. It says, and we'll make him, Jesus, a messenger to the children of Israel. I have come to you with a sign from your Lord that I designed for you out of clay. Uh -huh. uh, okay. As it were, uh, as it were the figure of a bird and breathe into it and it becomes a bird by Allah's leave. Mm -hmm. And I heal him who was born blind and the leper and I bring the dead to life by Allah's leave. And I inform you of what you eat and what you store in your house. And surely there is a sign for you if you believe. Okay. So Jesus, he can create and recreate. He can bring people back to the dead, but he can't create. So he's... no, 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 you are lying. Your, your initial no, no, point no, no. was can you when create somebody, humans? Hold on. When somebody is dead, in order to get him back, you have to recreate the dead because no, all. No, you just is... have to put the soul back into. The no, body. that's false. Yes. Because that's simply, no. As an example, but I can tell the story. Hold what on. What soul part? Even know, you There's nothing left. The There's body. nothing There's left. Hold on, liar. Is it true that Jesus here resurrected Noah, who was a dust? Resurrected Noah? Noah, like a yes. Prophet? Yes. Uh, no. What if I show you the reference? Sure, go ahead. But if that is true, what you will say? If Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, resurrected Noah, uh -huh. the prophet Noah that had like a boat yes. uh, during the Great Flood, Yes. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Show me. I'm waiting. You no, know, if I show you that, what that will mean to you? Yeah, I'll think about it now. Show me. No, what do you mean think about it? Tell me what do you think about it? You, yeah, you, when you, you show me you, something, no, you, I will you, think you, about it. You were surprised, so I'm asking you. Uh, yeah, if, because it, it sounds if, absolutely ridiculous. If this is, it, if this is it true, what that will do to you? Uh, it, what do you mean if it's true? Well, if this is true, how you said to me, resurrection is just putting a soul back. <laughs> no. Yes, what you say. Everybody heard you. Okay. Resurrection? I, I don't know if I would use that word, but sure. No, you say that the resurrection is just putting the soul back. That's a lie. Because you don't resurrect but just by putting the soul back. Because if the person is dead, the second he died, his organ is damaged. So in order to... We are not talking about somebody we give him yeah, like the soul a... leaves if it's damaged too much. Huh? Yeah, the soul leaves if the body becomes too damaged or if it like stops functioning or whatever. The second the person he died, is it true that his organ already is damaged, starting from the brain? Is damaged starting from the brain? What? Well, if a person he died, is it true that the second that happened, the brain is damaged? Uh, sure. Okay, so how... You have to recreate a brain again for the person. That's a creation. So if Jesus well, can, not necessarily, if Je not because necessarily, guys, you, not necessarily, today, like, not necessarily. Look at the madness. They say Jesus is just a man, but we just discover that Jesus can resurrect people from death, which means he can re create a human being. In the top of that, Jesus he resurrect Noah. Jesus, he can create. Okay, are you going to show me? Or are you just okay, going to keep on. on saying that? Okay, okay, I'll show you, no problem. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> All right. Uh, let us see. I'm just trying to find a website in English because you said you do not know Arabic. But anyway, uh, let us see here. All right, here we go. I have to use Google Translation because you don't speak Arabic. But this is your Islamic website, islam.net, web.net. And this is the translation. The story of Jesus, who the dead ones who he revived. Read with me. Uh, where do you want me to start reading? Well, we will see here in front of us. We will see the story. It mentioned the okay. stories. Okay. Uh, uh, there's four people Jesus here resurrected. Four people Jesus here resurrected. Okay, then the stupid page keep giving me the Arabic. Noah, one of them. Oh, a stupid web page. Hold on. Where do you see Noah? Hold on. 
Ah. Ibn Abbas, may Allah police be upon him, said, stupid page, what's wrong with this thing? Okay, does it say that Jesus, he resurrected four people, including Noah? Uh, Noah, Zar's son, Zar's son, uh, and his sister. So his sister sent to Jesus, peace be upon him, your brother Azar is dying, and there was a three-day journey between him and him. So he and his companions came to him and found him. He had died three days ago, so he said to his sister, go with us to his grave. So she went with him to his grave. Uh, so he called upon God Almighty, and Lazarus stood up with his grave dripping, foot his foot dripping, and he came out of his grave, and he remained and had a son. Mm -hmm. uh, as for the old man's son he passed by him dead on a bed carrying jesus peace be upon him so god called jesus so he sat on his my friend make it short does it say that jesus he resurrected noah uh, i don't know what 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 says what 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 does it say yeah, so there's it says four Ibn people Abbas. one of them is noah okay go down unbelievable you know i mean uh, they play games here we go as wait, for wait, Shem, hold on, that's, hold on. That's not even like As a... for Shem, the son of Noah, please be upon him. Jesus be up, be upon him in his grave, and called on the greatest name of God, and he came to his grave, half of his head. So he's distorted. The translation, the the translation is not accurate. So he time, says, he said, has the uh -huh. resurrection occurred? Uh -huh. What? What? Uh huh. So he came out from the grave, and he have a gray hair. Okay. You? Okay. So now is this body, this person? Do he have a body now? Or his body is totally gone from the time of Noah. Uh, he came to his grave, called on the greatest name of Allah. He came out of his grave, half of his head grave for fear of the day of judgment. He did not turn grave at that time. He said, "Has the resurrection occurred?" He said, "No, but I called you in the greatest name of God." Then he said to him die okay he said on that condition that god protects me from the throes of death so he called on god and he did so it's over god all, right. all right so jesus he command the dead and they come from their graves is that correct uh sure in this narration even, by ibn Abbas. even the one who died thousands of years ago so now let's go back to jesus the human can allah who is not a human do what jesus do Okay, okay, Christian Prince, let me ask you a question. Don't don't change okay. the question. Don't wait, wait, wait. Can wait. Allah, no, no, no. Can this is Allah, important. This is related. Allah. Okay, so okay, is okay. Ibn Abbas is uh -huh. Ibn Abbas's statements authoritative? What do you mean? Is his statements authoritative in Islam? Yes, he is the cousin of your prophet. No, that's not true. So whatever he what? says is like <laughs> True by like divine in guidance fact, or whatever. Yes, in no, fact, we don't have this. In fact, this is like a Christian in thing. In fact, you're a prophet. Like yes, it's a Christian thing. Ibn Abbas is a Christian thing. Can you believe it? Listen, Christians. No, no, this idea that they're the people around him or whatever, like <laughs> Apostle Paul or I don't know John, are guided by the Holy Spirit. Well, this I can is a show Christian you Paul. I can show you Paul this. in your books. So the hey, Christianity hey, hey, on hey, Islam. Hey, 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 hey! You cannot keep talking, so you can skip. Even Paul, I can show you from your book, it says he was sent by Allah, and he is a messenger of God. You are an idiot, like the rest of you. So look what you are doing. You keep jumping like a monkey from place to place. We start with the sunset, and then we get you busted. Do you agree that your prophet was a stupid when he said the sun set in a spring of water? Yes or no? Is Ibn Abbas authoritative? Yes. No, I answered not. you. You're wrong. I answered you. Now answer me. Is your prophet being a stupid when he said this? And and by the way, where's like the chain of narration? Where's the proof? Where's none, the, none of, your, none of my business. Say is that a sahih in chain? He says, where is the chain of narration? Where is it? Wait, like? this is a different hadith. Why you? Why no, you? This is the same the hadith. You're like a and monkey. all of them they are sahih. You see the hypocrisy. So their website says sahih. They say it doesn't say that CP. It says the sunset during the sunset. It doesn't say that CP. I mean, you must the narration the most... by Ibn Abbas if you were listening. Okay, hold on. Do you de you deny the narration of Ibn Abbas? That particular one, yes. Ah, that particular one, but wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Christian Prince. It might be. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just say one thing. It might be completely true that he actually said this. It might be completely and utterly true. Okay, but does it okay. Make we it will go to Ibn Abbas. Forget about Ibn no, Abbas, my friend. 
It's you who mentioned to me, as you said to me where it says that, I showed you where it says that, I got you busted. So now you want to accept what Ibn Abbas says or not, that's your business. you Abdul, he's Abdul. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, you can point to any random person that says any no, random thing and then random, say, oh, this, this is not a in. random, like, that's absolutely ridiculous. you see, you are a hypocrite, this is not a random person, this is the only person, your prophet, he mentioned his name to explain Islam. The only name, Muhammad. In the Quran, that's yes. not true. Yes, he mentioned that, not, what in the Quran, you idiot? He said, Muhammad mentioned, you are saying to me in the Quran, are you saying the Quran is made by Muhammad? Thank you very much. <laughs> what? Where does, does it say Muhammad say, said, blah, you blah, said blah, to blah, me blah, blah, around, I, you said, Where does it say that in Ibn Abbas? Said, you said a random it said person. It said Ibn Abbas narrated, but they narrated but and then he gave this listen, entire like, fantastical listen, okay. story about Jesus. W one by one, Obviously trying, it's not true. you are trying to escape the humility. You went so mute and silence when we showed you. You're a prophet explaining where the sun set. Let us finish this one and we can. Oh my God! Now you're derailing because you know it's not. You know Ibn Abbas is not authoritative. This is actually crazy. Okay, can you give me a proof that Ibn Abbas is not authoritative? Okay, is he the prophet? Just to show you. Okay, in the front is, is of he, is guys, he the prophet? guys, guys. Is he okay, the prophet? okay, guys, guys. Just to show you how stupid those Abdul. Here we go. This is Tafsir al baghawi the biggest scholar of Islam, the master of uh, uh, Ibn Kathir. And this is the story in the front of your eyes. So if this story is a fabricated, why it is exist in every Islamic book? I mean, uh, even... Shut okay, up. Okay, sure. They but take no, no, things no, from the no, Bible no, or from no, whatever no, 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 and then put it in the tafsir. It still up, doesn't make shut it authoritative. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Peace be upon him, came to his grave and invoked the greatest name of God. He came out of his grave, half of his head great for fear of the day of judgment. Okay, you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to like narrate this story. <laughs> so we find it in every book and then they say to us, this is story is not a true story. So look what we can do. Yeah, it's in. not a true story. It's so, not in the Quran. It's not part listen, of this uh, prophet's Okay, uh, I will hadith, go. Guys, so if a story <laughs> is not... Okay, I will go with you. If a story is not in the Quran, it's not a true. Can we come to that conclusion? Uh, Yeah, sure. But, I sure? mean, I would also take stories from the prophet to be true. Huh? A second ago, he said this is... A, but this is a Abbas. He took it from Muhammad. <laughs> what? This is story Muhammad. He is the one who said this is story. Ibn Abbas is saying what Muhammad said. No, it doesn't. It said what, like what Ibn the Abbas narrated. <laughs> Ibn Abbas, is he a prophet? No. Where Ibn Abbas he learned? Ibn Abbas is a kid. He learned from his, his cousin. Exactly. Everything. He's a kid who just heard random stories from random Christians. Obviously, he's going to say something Abdul, as ridiculous no. as this. Okay. If he is a stupid and he is nobody, you must and should not put what he's saying. You see how hypocrite you are? If he is nobody, why you put his name to explain the okay, Quran? Okay. Did Ibn Abbas say the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that? Are you saying that Ibn Abbas saying I said that? What? No, I'm saying did Ibn I am Abbas saying, I'm, I'm, say... And I am saying, you idiot. Are you saying you that idiot. Muslims, they take their religion? Hold on. Guys, did you see what happened? He just said that the Muslims, they take their religion from someone. He did not take it from, from Muhammad. So now, are you saying that you Muslims in your book, you take what somebody say, which is not what Muhammad say? Yeah, we don't take uh, random sayings by random people. So why it is in your official book? Yeah, okay, sure. There's a book uh, by a famous scholar. It's called, uh, I don't know, The Story of Nations or whatever. And it has a bunch of stories all the way from like Hindu literature. Does it mean it's authoritative? Ah, ah. No, but it doesn't. Abdul, this is not a scholar. This is the cousin of your prophet. He's a companion. And your prophet, he said, if you want to understand the Quran, take it from Ibn Abbas. And he prayed to Allah saying, may Allah make Ibn Abbas the ink of knowledge. Is that true? Yes, that's true. That's a hadith. So why you are saying it's not, why you should not take Ibn Abbas? If you're a prophet, yeah. name him. Yeah, you're any, a prophet, any narration you're a prophet, from Ibn Abbas you're a prophet, is not authoritative. Not, Muslim you're a prophet, he did not name Al-Bukhari. He did not name Muslim. He never met them. This is his cousin. He named him by name. He did not even name any. He said Ibn Abbas. Also, Ibn Abbas uh, was the greatest Mufasir of the Quran. He is the cousin of Muhammad and one of the Sahaba. So what the hell are you talking about, Turtle? Yeah, okay, but does this mean that any quotation from Ibn Abbas, who even Christian Prince admits as a child, to be authoritative <laughs> no, no, of the no, religion Islam? I, I no, you're I say Ibn Abbas is a child. He was a child. He was young. You're an idiot. So Ibn Abbas now is a growing man, 
and he is teaching us what he learned from his from his cousin. Where does Muhammad. it say the Prophet said this? Where does it say that? So who said that? Yeah, he said it out of his own volition, oh, oh, out of his oh, own oh, knowledge, oh, where he oh, got oh, from he, somewhere. Allah, no, 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 I'm no, asking no. you. I'm asking you. Are you accusing Ibn Abbas that he is a liar? I'm saying he's just reciting a story he probably heard somewhere. Where he heard it from? Who? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> so look what happened. You said to us that Jesus is just a human, but the Jesus is the human. He can tell you what you hide in your houses. Jesus the human. He can walk on water. He can command nature. He can command the devil. Is it true? When Shaitan, he sees Jesus, he will dissolve like salt? Uh, are you asking me if it's true? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. When Shaitan, he sees Muhammad, is he going to be dissolved like salt? Uh, I, I don't know. Okay. You guys, the answer don't know. Okay, let me make it simple for you. Is it true that Muhammad, he received his command from Shaitan? Is it true that Muhammad received his command from Shaitan? No. Uh -huh. I'm waiting. Huh? Huh? Either I you say no. yes. No. But if we can prove that Muhammad received the command from Shaitan, what does that mean? What do you think? Muhammad is satanic. Thank you. Read with me and love. Your prophet, he admit that he received command from the devil and he command me not, but to do good. Uh, there is none of you who does not have his partner from among the jinn and his partner from among the angels put in charge of him. The hearers ask, does this also apply to you, Messenger of Allah? He says, it applies to me too, but God has helped me against him, and he has accepted Islam, so he, he commands me to do only what is good. So where does it say Shaitan? Does it say Shaitan? It says Jinn. All right. Let us see if it's Jinn or not. Isn't it that Jinn is a Shaitan? But let's make it more clear. <laughs> Guys, it says, it says uh, Jinn. Here we go. It's Shaitan. I looked at, uh, for the Prophet Muhammad, for Prophet, or the Messenger of Allah, and I put my hand on his hair, and he said, your shaitan has come to you. I said, don't you have a shaitan? He said, yes, but Allah helped me with him, so he submitted. Okay, so now who is the one is commanding Muhammad to do good? Shaitan. What? It says that Allah helped me with him, he submitted. Who? The devil, is that correct? The devil submitted, yes. The devil, he command Muhammad to do good, correct? What? Where did, where did you get that? Read it. Give him the chapter name. Shaitan, how he sent his troop to 10 people. And then it says here, one among, none amongst you, whom not attached from among the jinn, the devil, his companion. So he command me to do good. So who is the one commanding Muhammad to do good? The devil. He does not command me, but, but for good. Exactly. So who command Muhammad to do good? He said, yes, but Allah helped me against him. So I am safe from his hand. But he does not command me, but for good. Exactly. So who Muhammad received command from? The devil. But it's not a shaitan anymore. Well, he's a devil. Guys, the shaitan is not shaitan no more. <laughs> yeah, shaitan is evil. So if he's no longer evil, no, 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 evil no. is he so shaitan. Why he, so why he's calling him devil shaitan if he is not shaitan no more? Yeah, I mean, he could, and it doesn't even say shaitan. It says no, it says shaitan. It says shaitan. It says shaitan. I showed you the hadith. Wait, 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 wait. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Yeah, just, just, you see how stupid you are? Read. You Where see the top? It? Wait, wait, scroll down. The mischief of shaitan. Do you see the chapter? The mischief of shaitan. Do you see it? I, okay, I see. <laughs> yes, right. I see so, the chapter. So what the name, topic is? What the topic it. is? The hadith, shaitan, shayateen. Do you see it? So who is the one doing mischievement? The shaitan. How it you do it? Jinn in that hadith. Oh, no, Abdul, unbelievable. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Abdul, Abdul, just to show you how stupid you are. Can you show me the word? Can you show me the word jinn? Okay, can you go to the left, please? No, no, no. Can you show me the word jinn without speaking <laughs> you of shaitan? Don't want to show me the English. No, no, I'm showing it to you. Okay. Does it say in your translation the word devil? 
Yeah, it says Jin parentheses devil. Okay, okay. does this mean so the word it, devil is in there? No, it, it's just a parentheses so, devil. So this is not devil. Yeah, so amongst the jinn, the companion said, Allah's messenger with you. Uh, uh -huh. Wait, wait, with you too. So he has a jinn too. Thereupon he said, yes. But Allah helps me against him. So I am safe from his hand. Whose hand? The jinn's hand. And he does not command me, but for good. So I will go with you. So, if so this is, jinn helps so if it is not, good. So if so it's not, nothing wrong with this. Okay, so if it is not the shaitan, it's not the devil, why it says here in the top, the mischievement of shaitan? I mean, this is uh, this is the hadith collector's choice. I don't know why he put this under uh, uh, shaitan. You would have okay, to ask okay. me. Okay, okay. I will go you, with you. you. Can't okay. Ask me okay, okay. I will go with you. So if I show you the word that clearly says shaitan, is that okay? Is that will help you? Go ahead, show me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You look like somebody have a diarrhea. So, guys, now we will show him the word shaitan. And now we will see if it is shaitan or not. Read with wait, me. Wait, wait, you said I, I look no, like someone no, who has no, diarrhea? No, what does no, that even no, mean? No, no, read with me. Does it say shaitan, yes or no? Uh, Aisha said that once when the God's messenger went out from her during the night, she was jealous regarding him. Then when he came and saw that what, he was, what she was doing, he said, What is the matter with you, Aisha? Are you jealous? She replied, why should one like me not be jealous regarding one like you? He said, your devil has come to you. She asked, Messenger of God, do I have a devil? He told her that she had, and when she asked him whether he had one too, he said, he replied, yes, but God has helped me against him so that I may be safe. So is it shaitan or is it just a genie? Okay, I still think it's a jinn because earlier it just said jinn parentheses double, so I think here. it's just you, equivocating. You coward. Low trashy person. Still, I see. Then I think it's a, just a genie. So it's he asked for shaitan. We saw him shaitan. He asked for no. It still doesn't say shaitan. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter what you show them. It doesn't say that CP. Like what the heck? Can you believe it? How hypocrite cowards they are. It says you're shaitan. It doesn't say shaitan. Show me the word shaitan. It says genie. <laughs> you know, I you know why I kept you for long? Because we are having fun. I mean, look at this. Muhammad he received command. Let us say, for the sake of argument, this is a genie. What kind of a prophet received received command from the genie? Do you see the stupidity? Muhammad received command from Allah or from the genie. When Muhammad received a good command, he received it from who? Shaitan. It's in the front of you. If Muhammad is a prophet of God, why he is receiving command from shaitan? 